Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video clip, we will discuss the process of interpolation in detail in time domain and then we will go through a mathematical derivation like we have done for decimation and see what is the effect on frequency spectrum of the signal which is undergoing the process of interpolation. So let us once again take a discrete time signal X of n or a digital signal X of n which is sampled at rate effects and let's say we want to convert it to signal X of n with sampling rate f of y. Alright, so the sampling rate is going to change from fx to fy. Now it is very obvious that fy, the new sampling rate here has to be greater than fx. So when we talk about interpolation that means it is a process of up sampling or increasing the sampling rate so fy is greater than fx and not just that fy is greater than fx fy by fx if i take this ratio it has to be equal to capital i where capital i will be nothing but an integer we call it a factor by which the interpolation is taking place so for example if i take i is equal to 2 in that case fy upon fx will be equal to 2 and further if fx is equal to let's say 1000 hertz then you can easily make out that fy that means the sampling rate of the output signal has to be equal to 2000 hertz so initially there were 1000 samples per second in the signal x of n and now in the output side i want 2000 samples per second so this can be only be possible if we insert the extra samples so i can represent the whole process in the form of a block diagram now a single block which correspond to the process of interpolation this time we show up arrow with letter capital i the up arrow indicates the up sampling the input is signal x of n and let us call the output as uh, y of n we are giving new name to the output signal and obviously the output signal will have the sampling rate fy which will be i times fx so this capital i is nothing but interpolation factor so how we increase the number of samples we insert zero samples in between for example let's say if i is equal to 2 in that case i want to increase the number of samples to 2000 so after every one sample i'll add the zero sample and hence i can increase the number of sample by two so after every sample there'll be one zero samples if i consider a thousand samples i would have inserted thousand zero samples and that's how i'll get total 2000 samples Similarly, if the interpolation factor was equal to 3, in that case, I'll have to insert two zeros. So first sample will be the original sample I'll take. I'll insert two zeros and then I go to the next uh, sample. I read the next sample and again, I insert two zero samples. So you can see for every one original sample, we get that sample itself and two zero samples. That means total three samples and that's how if fx is 1000 hertz the new sampling rate will be 3000 samples per second so this is nothing but the process of interpolation let us see how the process of interpolation will look like in terms of the waveforms